am massive. I wanna rub my bum. <gasps> I don't know how they managed it. Listen a little bit questionable. That was blooming embarrassing. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I need to preface this video and say, builders are still at work. If you saw yesterday's video, I'm filming this on the same day, so they're still going, going crazy out there. If you hear any noises, I do apologize. They're annoying me too, but the weather is nice, the lighting is good, I wanna be filming right now and I'm in a great mood. So if you didn't see yesterday's video, I will link it in the clickable icon for you. It was me testing out clothing from the Zaffle website, this t-shirt included, which I really bloom in love. And I think it went pretty darn well. So if you haven't seen it, I will link it for you. Just in case you didn't already know, every single day this week, Monday through to Friday at 6 p.m. or another time in your time zone, I will be uploading a brand new video where I'm testing different clothing websites to see how good the clothing actually is, see if it's actually worth it. And I would love for you to be here every single day in the comment section to chat to me. So every day at six, get your alarm set. And for the first hour of every video being live, I will be in the comment section replying to your comments. So leave me something fun to reply to and I will be there. For today's video, I'm going to be trying clothing from the Shein website, which I swear used to be called Shein side, but I, now it's just Shein. I have got my delivery. Nothing was labeled with Shein, so I didn't actually know what it was, so I had to open a package to see what it was, and in doing so, the box came out of the bag, and I can't get the box back in the bag. I don't know how they managed it. We have, I believe a jumpsuit. It looks massive. It looks a little bit like a builder's suit. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't think this is going to suit me. I look like a 12 year old boy. So I'm hoping that I can pull these little ties and I might have a bit of a waist going on. That's a bit better. Let's just pull these as tight as they'll go. I was thinking more like, postman. Oh no, it's my favorite postman and I'm literally wearing like a boiler suit. Well, that was blooming embarrassing. I don't really like this outfit. Maybe, maybe, okay, maybe if I dressed it up with a bit of jewelry, a nice handbag and some heels, maybe then it would look cute. I don't know. I just feel like I'm wearing a boiler suit. That's how I feel. However, it is very comfortable. It fits nicely. Um, I can move around in it. It's a nice material. It's nice and soft. Doesn't look see-through to me. It is pretty much what it was on the picture. I just think now I've got it on, I don't feel quite so, quite so great in it, but also it's got pockets and we all love pockets. So <laughs> that's just great. Um, okay, next item we have, just a zip tie baggy and whoa. Okay, another jumpsuit. I don't know what I was thinking when I went on this website, but apparently, I don't know what's going on. Okay, what the heck? Okay, okay. So this is it from the back. So it's got, can you see this? This is the two little straps and I'm assuming these go over your shoulder and then tie. Oh, there's a little button on them. So you tie the little button and they go around your back and it's um, a jumpsuit. And come on, it's gotta be better than this. A plumber, that's what I look like, not a boiler suit. Is that a boiler suit? It's a boiler suit what a plumber wears? I don't know. Okay, I'm not too sure how I feel about the back of this. It's, um, <laughs> it looks a little bit odd from the back, but from the front, this is quite cute. What do you guys think? It fits nicely, it's very thin, and I feel like you could potentially see the outline of my underwear because it's so thin. Oh, and my underwear's poking out the top, that's lovely. Can you see my underwear? I can definitely feel my underwear. This material is extremely thin. It's not really hugging me itself, it's just stuck to me, but there's no hug in it, it's very loose. I'm stuck between loving it and how I feel in it, and feeling a little bit like Catwoman. <laughs> I feel like I could put a little cat mask on, wear this, and get away with Catwoman for Halloween. Does anyone else get that feeling? It also keeps slipping so that my bra's on show. Having said all those negative points, it is very silky and I do kind of like how I look in it. I feel like with a pair of heels, a nice necklace. I think it looks quite fancy. The back is a little bit questionable. Catwoman, or, wait for it, Batman! A Batman! I've got bat wings! So Catwoman, or Batman, 
It's your choice. What do we have next? Okay, we've got a t-shirt. Did I get shorts or, okay, I've got jeans. Let's try the t-shirt and jeans on together. So these are the jeans. These are low rise jeans. They feel like pretty nice jeans. I'm already impressed. <gasps> and they've got a bit of stretch to them. Oh my gosh, I actually love jeans with a bit of stretch. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the orange um, stitching on these. I didn't notice that in the picture, but I'm not the biggest fan. I'd rather it just had like black stitching or something, but we've got some nice orange stitching. And then the front of the leg is a little bit washed out. They look, they look like they could be good. And I'm just gonna put this t-shirt with it, which says love on it with a little love heart at the end, which is pretty cute. Um, it feels, it feels very light and very thin. If you watched yesterday's video, the t-shirt in that was a lot nicer quality for the money than this one, um, but we shall try them out. Okay, I'm pretty impressed. These jeans are not awful. I don't love them, but they're definitely not the worst jeans that I've tried on. They're very comfortable. They're nice and stretchy. I'm just not a big fan of how they look. I don't know. They look worse on camera than they do in the mirror. In the mirror, in the mirror they actually look kind of fine. On camera, there looks like there's a bigger contrast between the blue and the light blue. Like they look off. In the mirror, they don't look that bad. These fit a lot better than most jeans that I try on in the shops. These are comfortable. They're stretchy. They're not bulking too much at the knee. They look pretty decent. They're the right length. I'm trying to get my ankles on camera. I feel like they could, I feel like they could be a little tight around the ankle, but I think I got them in slim, not skinny. So they're actually pretty decent. I will say one thing. This button feels a lot like the button that I had in yesterday's video with shorts that popped off and broke. Listen, after the experience that I had yesterday with those shorts, it feels like these could break at any second. So though I may keep them, I think I'll be very wary of the button on them. And then the t-shirt, I have no qualms with. I love it. Um, with t-shirts, I find sometimes they can be really boxy. This one kind of curves a little bit, it's really nice. And then recently, Every single t-shirt in the shops has cap sleeves and I hate them. I hate cap sleeves with an absolute passion. I cannot stand cap sleeves. Look how, look how nice and long these sleeves are. It's a really nice top. I mean, come on, how much were these jeans? Right, having got all excited about these jeans, they're actually 16 pounds, which isn't bad. The jeans that I love are 40 pounds, so fair enough. But you can get jeans in Primark for like seven, I think or 10 so now i'm not quite so excited about these jeans knowing that you can get cheap ones in primark makes this cheap website not quite so exciting you know i mean i don't want to go on about it too much but i blooming love this t-shirt if all clothing companies could just start putting sleeves on again i will love you forever i'm really not a fan of the whole cap sleeve half sleeve thing just 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 put a sleeve on your outfits and I'll buy them. I will. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. Oh my gosh. Okay. I got avocado pajamas. I got pajamas with avocado on them. I have a crush on you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They're so soft. Oh, they're actually really, really freaking soft. Oh, I love them. I want to rub my face on them, but I'll get makeup on it. I think I found my new favorite jammies. Let me try them on. They're so cute. Oh, they're so cute and soft. <gasps> I like, I like them, I like them, I like them. Oh my goodness, they could potentially be a little bit see-through, but I'm only wearing them to bed. These are cute. <gasps> oh, and they're so soft. I can't get over how soft these are. They are just, I just want to rub my bum. They're so soft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I found my new favorite pajamas. Look at them! How cute are these jammies? And they're so soft. Oh my goodness. I wish you could like come through the screen and like touch my pajamas because these are the softest things. They're so nice. They're so comfortable. And I can't wait to wear these this evening. These are my new favorite jammies. I'll be, I'll be wearing these all the time. They're so cute. And they say, I have a crush on you and they've got avocados on them and I mean, what more could you want from a pair of pajamas? What more could you want from a pair of pajamas? And throughout my childhood, avocados were my favorite food. So the fact that they've become a trend and I can now buy things with avocados on them, I'm not complaining. But I didn't jump on the trend, I was the trend. 
I wasn't the trend, but you know, you get it, you get it. Let's open these boots and see what they have for me. Okay. They look pretty, do you know what? They actually look like pretty good quality shoes. I'm not gonna lie. And they're lined with fur. Well, not real fur, but they're lined with softness. These could be good if my foot fits in them. Let's see if my foot will fit. I got it on, ladies and gentlemen, and it's really nice. Okay, this was very unexpected. These are actually a really good pair of boots. They were almost 30 pounds, so I feel like you could also get a similar thing in, say, New Look, maybe. I feel like New Look prices would probably be about 30 pounds, but they're actually staying up, and I feel like that's what most knee-high boots don't do. They're almost pretty much exactly the same as the boots that I got from ASOS for £45. They're comfortable, they fit nicely, they feel like they're pretty solid and sturdy, they're really soft, they look good, they fit my leg nicely, they stay up. This is a good pair of boots. I feel like it would be a lot easier to replicate clothing um, with slightly cheaper materials and get kind of the same thing than it is to replicate boots and shoes. So I really wasn't expecting these to be nice, let alone fit, let alone me want to keep them and they're actually really nice over the knee boots. They look well made. I mean, they were close to 30 pounds, so I do feel more new look prices as opposed to what I might have expected to get on a cheaper website. I probably would have expected to get cheaper things, but I feel like I got more than what I paid for. It was 30 pounds, but they're really nice boots. So I feel like I got more than what I paid for. These are really nice. I'm gonna stop talking about them now and we'll go on to more clothes. Okay, one of the items left is this, which is for a video that's coming up in the future. So I'm gonna put this to one side. I'll give you a hint, that's a bikini. So watch out for that video. And then I have one more item. Um, okay. I feel like recently a lot of girls have worn them with the stripe down. They look kind of sporty, casual, but they look good. So I bought myself a pair to just see how they looked on me because I don't think I can pull them off. I can try pulling them on, but I don't think I can pull them off. So we're going to see how this goes. They're not as bad as I thought. I, uh, I quite like them. I'm not the biggest fan of the waist, but I mean, wear a baggy top and you're all good. They're quite cute. I actually feel like I could maybe pull these off. Okay, you guys have to help me. Let me know in the comments. Do you think these look quite cute? And what would you pair them with? I think I could maybe pull these off. And if I can't make them look cute and comfy and casual and sporty all at the same time, then I can just wear them over my pole shorts on my way to pole and take them off when I get there. And they just look like cute tracksuit pants. I'm happy with those. I like them. I'm happy. I'm sold. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. I'm kind of impressed. Same as with yesterday's video. The quality of these clothing items was actually relatively good. So I'm happy. I think there are a few things I might change, like the buckle on the jeans and that jumpsuit that looked like a boiler suit. But I mean, you know, but other than that, I think this went really well. So let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you would ever shop on any of these cheaper websites. Give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m. Bye.